<laughs> Hi, my name is Gavin Hortland, and uh, today I uh, <laughs> I just wanted to talk about <laughs> icons. There's a lot of unfortunate Protestant caricatures and uh, people that scoff and mock at my videos, and um, I just wanted to uh, sort of uh, poison the. I mean, uh, put a little bit of salt over this conversation by explaining some of my concerns about my interlocutors. It's worth reminding you guys that MLK was a Protestant and he encouraged inclusivity for our black and brown siblings. This is something that the Orthodox Church and the Catholics don't understand. They have a doctrine called Extra Ecclesium Nola Solis, where they say that we all go to hell and they all hate us, even though we're inclusive and the kindest. They also have anathemas, which means to be accursed. They curse us. They hate us. Now let's go into the scriptures. You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is on the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Now, I interpret this passage to mean that we can make carved images, but that we just can't venerate them. Now, my uncharitable interlocutors might say that I'm being arbitrary here, but I think that this is the plain reading of the text and definitely what the scripture means to And me. now for the retrieval from the church fathers. I don't shy away from the church fathers, ladies and gentlemen. They clearly teach Protestantism. One important figure is Arius. He did not believe in the veneration of icons at all. This church father Nestorius might have believed in the veneration of icons, but he held to many reform distinctives in the early church. St. Isaac the Syrian says that pagan idolatry is, is bad. And I interpret this to mean that icons are bad. I think we can extrapolate that from what St. Isaac was saying. Especially if we read the fathers through the lens of the Westminster Confession instead of through the lens of historical context and the councils. I just wanted to end this video saying that I love my Catholic and Orthodox brothers and sisters. It's just that no matter how kind I am to them, they always say that I am anathema and accursed. And that's because of the rotten fruits of departure from the Reformation. I wanted to remind you again that MLK Jr. was indeed a Protestant and that Dietrich Bonhoeffer was also a Protestant and that without Protestantism, you would never get the America that we have today. Many of the great Enlightenment thinkers were inspired by the Protestant movement. So I just wanted in this video saying, I love my Orthodox Catholic brothers and sisters. It's a shame that they treat me so uncharitably. If you'd like to see my other videos about the local flood and evolution, please click below. Have a great rest of your day. And this is